Hello, I'm Abigail, and before I tell you what I'm going to talk about, we're going to do a little pop quiz. I hope you guys are ready for this. How many artists of these paintings can you name? Not the art, but the artists of the paintings. All right? Anyone? No one knows who painted one of the most famous paintings in the world. Okay, what about the middle one? Andy Warhol, on the end. Andy Warhol, we got one. Thank you. Okay, Andy Warhol on the end. Marilyn in the middle. Nobody recognizes this lovely lady. I know. Pretty Paula. Okay. And on the left, probably the most famous painting in the world. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Mona Lisa. Excellent. Okay. Okay. You guys are doing all right so far. Okay. How about these artists? How many do you know? Interesting. None. Product design, right? Okay, let's move on. All right, last one. Ever heard of any of these guys? <laughs> Looking familiar? You may not be able to name the exact artist, but you've seen these images, right? Famous comic book characters, which are now all major blockbuster movies. Okay, all started with an artist drawing. All right. I have a blank screen, that's awesome. What is the number one most visited museum in the world? Anyone guess? Ooh, you guys are good, okay, okay. I gave it away, I gave it away. The Louvre, correct, in Paris, France. One of three that made the top 20 list of the most visited museums in the world. Seven or eight, I believe, were all art museums. This is number one in the world, art museum. It may have something to do with a 500-year-old portrait of a smiling Italian woman. What were five of Amazon.com's top 20 bestsellers of 2015? Adult coloring books. Color Me Calm, I love that one. Color Me Stress Free, adult coloring books. The other one on the list was a Dr. Seuss book. And then the last one on the list of the top 20 was The Day the Crowns Quit. So that. there's something going on here, all right. Entrepreneur Magazine lists what type of company among 2015's fastest growing franchises? Can anyone guess? Paint Night. Ooh, should I let him give the answer? He, mm -hmm. I think he has inside information. <laughs> That's exactly right. Painting Party franchises. These two companies, Pinot's Palette, in fact, headed to Colonial, no, excuse me, 21st Avenue right here in Norfolk. There's one coming, and Painting with a Twist. That's a little more Midwest. These are two of the fastest growing in the list of the top 103 fastest growing franchises in 2015. These beat out, you're, gonna, you're gonna, not gonna believe this, these beat out Moe's Southwest Grill, beat out Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and this is the one that's really hard to believe, the Indoor Trampoline Park. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's amazing, and I'm kind of excited about that, but also that's amazing. All right, so painting party franchises. All right, art is everywhere. Literally every product that we use in our everyday life began as an artist drawing on a sketch pad or iCAD. Okay, I think that might be the last one. So art is everywhere. So what? We know we love art. We know art is important to us. We know art has many benefits. Obviously, there are studies after studies showing that the academic value of a student having art education makes him, him or her more advanced in all of the other areas of critical thinking, problem solving, mathematics, reading, comprehension. Art has many therapeutic benefits, okay? So we all know art is important. We know it's everywhere in everything that we use. So what, what do we do about it? So how do we get more art in our life? So I give you Kairos Studio and Gallery. My name is Abigail Cochran. I'll be the founder and owner of this. I want to just go over a few of the, um, the goals and the vision of Kairos, and I will describe in phases, and that's where we'll go. So if you can scroll down, please, to the next page. The first part of that quiz was like the fancy part, so. Um, I did that wrong, so. Yeah, you did. That's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so Kairos will have four basic elements. The vision is art instruction, that's phase one. This is gonna be art for all ages, all skill levels, okay? I, I personally am an art teacher. I've been a middle school art teacher for four years here in Norfolk, and um, I got my BFA in sculpture at East Carolina University in Greenville, North Carolina, and I 
know that one of my purposes is teaching. I love teaching and I love teaching art especially because it's what I'm good at, it's what I know. Um, and as we talked about, two of the fastest growing franchises are painting parties. You guys have probably either been to one or know someone who has. They're popping up literally everywhere. But not all of the art that is being made is quality art. Some of it's downright crappy art. And the gentleman that spoke here on Tuesday, what was his name? Scott. Scott spoke about his purpose for his business and what he said, I just, it really resonated. He said to kill meaninglessness. That is one of my goals with Kairos, is to kill meaninglessness in art. And so the idea is in the art instruction, in regardless of if that's a painting party or like I'm gonna be teaching um, classes at 757 Makerspace starting next month with Bo, if any of you know him, any type of art instruction, I want it to be meaningful and have a purpose. I want it to be special to the person who's making it. I want it to have a life outside of just, we're making cool stuff and we're all gonna do the same thing. Okay, so the art instruction phase, that's the phase I'm currently in, as Zach calls this the napkin phase. Um, I don't have a brick and mortar building yet, but this is a completely mobile operation. I can literally go anywhere and teach an art class. I can teach you all how to draw right now if you'd like me to. Uh, phase two will be the private studio spaces. We're, we're not, okay. So, I'm sorry. I jumped ahead of myself and then it caused you to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, on the right side, phase one, I just wanted to show you my uh, painting party website that I have created. It's called Painting with Purpose. If you would mind, please jumping over to that. And I'm gonna give you guys all uh, one of my cards that has the website. So this is the website, and I'm sure the first question you may be asking is what makes these painting parties different than all the rest? Meaningfulness. That is what makes ours different. You can get to the about phase if you want, or to the about tab. So in last July, that's uh, a group of ladies at Upper Church down uh, in Norfolk. That's me before I had a haircut. Uh, I was asked to teach a painting party to a group of 65 women, and I knew that one of the challenges was going to be, number one, working with different skill levels. Number two, working with a specific group like that that would be meaningful and have something more than just, we're all going to paint this wine glass and, and these two cherries on the side, and it means nothing, and everyone comes up with the same painting. And that's one of the things I can't stand about, the painting parties. And it, even as I was asked to do the painting party, I scoffed at the idea. I was like, oh, it goes against everything I believe in as an artist. I, you know, art is supposed to be about your individuality. So I was really challenged with how do we make this more meaningful and also individualize it. So that's what we did. We came up with a, an ocean landscape, obviously inspired at that time. It was July, summertime in Norfolk. And I said, you know, each step of the way, we're going to give an opportunity to individualize it. And so each person, you can see, these are only probably half of the women. Each and every painting came out totally different to include the one who drew a field of daisies and the one who drew the tornado. And hey, you know, that's, yeah, that's art. Everyone can make their own deal, right? So each person had the opportunity to individualize the painting along the way. In addition to being able to individualize it, I was given a lesson that I, you know, I really felt that I had something very important to share with the women. It was a theme about knowing their value. And so I related this painting of the ocean to where pearls come from. And we related the, the value of the pearl to a scripture in the Bible. It was a church group and it was about the pearl of great value. And so I related that to the women. And so we turned it into a very purposeful type of story along with the painting that they could then share with anyone who saw their painting. And it just gave a new depth to the painting party experience. So that was my first uh, painting party doing that. I have another one coming up. It's a birthday party for seven year olds. So we're probably gonna do a little less of the lesson and more of the fun painting. But we will absolutely still have that difference built in where they will each be able to individualize their painting and be more creative and have fun with it without feeling the pressure of they all have to look the same. And one of the other things that makes painting with purpose different is that, for example, Paint Night, if you go on their website, their logo is actually drink creatively. There is a whole ton of people out there who don't drink and who don't need to be drunk to get creative and, and paint. So I'm hoping to tap into that niche 
Um, and, you know, I don't think you need to be drunk to make paintings and have fun being creative. I don't think that's necessary. It's a different side of it, and if that's what you wanna do, that's fine. But that is one of the things that will make us different, is it's not the focus on the drinking and the party aspect, it's the focus on actually making meaningful art. So that's my website, which you can look at later, hopefully you will. Then we can go back to the Kairos page. So that's the phase that I'm currently in, is the art instruction phase. I'll go quickly through the other two phases when they come up. So phase two would be that I'd like to have a private studio space for people to rent ultimately and as well as having um spaces that um, we're skipping one are we skipping one <laughs> two and a half we're just two and a half gallery phase can we go okay pause thank you this is good all right sorry i'm, I'm losing my voice all right so the phase two would be private studio space i would like to have uh places for people to rent if they don't have a place to work um artists have a hard time making real profit because of overhead so i'd like to have a place that provides equipment that they may not have themselves similar to what makerspace does the gallery phase two and a half i would like to focus on creative fundraising this is um, a place where artists can start out without the intimidation of the gallery system which sometimes takes 40 to 50 percent commission so they would have a place to show their work but groups who are maybe a church group doing a missions trip who needs to raise funds they don't want to do a bake sale or um, sell Krispy Kreme donuts. They can come make art and then we'll have a gallery show with a reception and an opening, which is was very successful last year. I was able to do that for same church, Upward Church, for Upward Artists, which is a group, group I lead there. They were going to Honduras. So we had an art show. We had a workshop, had 18 people show up. We made mixed media art and framed them and put them in Cure Coffee Shop down on wherever bought a tot in the freemason district and we had an art show we had a reception packed the house out and we sold all but three of the pieces of artwork and we were able to give that check to the team going to honduras so i thought okay there's something to this creative fundraising where you also have an experience with the you know not just selling the art but making the art so it's a multi-phase all right and then the phase three would be the clay studio and retail shop that's down the road because who doesn't love doing stuff with clay and kilns and clay equipment is very expensive. So I don't know if there are any more you can go to. Yeah, so phase three is the final uh, phase. I just wanna focus on that for just a moment. So this is really at the heart of Kairos. Um, I just talked about the Upward Artists. So you have an opportunity to help. So I myself am going to uh, Fiji on a mission trip with uh, my church and um, I'm gonna be offering a painting party at a discount and I'm gonna give you um, these worksheets that have the deal. You can go to the next thing. So the deal I'm offering, and you guys have an opportunity to sew into my business, but also to bless the people of Fiji. Painting with the Purpose, offering a group painting party at a discounted rate. So 50% of the sales will go toward the Fiji Relief Fund, and there's a website here if you want to go to that. It's through Rock Church International. Um, and 50% will go to my trip's expenses, but I'm offering a $15 per person discount so if you're interested in taking advantage of this deal you will be the first customers of Kairos studio and gallery and that is my pitch and I'm happy to answer your questions and I probably have like one minute left one minute, ten seconds. One minute and ten seconds any questions yes sir so is your goal to do more like fundraising type events and kind of gear away from the liquor and painting Right, the painting party is not the focus of it. Any art instruction is the focus, and I want that to be tied in with the fundraising. Okay. Um, but ultimately, I want whatever we do to have some purpose to it and meaningfulness. I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. So you have the, well, I'm sure you have the deal, but have you worked with um, like special needs sort of patrons and are you I have. equipped for that okay yes i have i um as a middle school art teacher and then also before in, a, in my training um and then before that i was in houston for 15 months uh, working with special population yes i do and, and that's absolutely people that i would welcome and and yes i love that idea thank you that's a great question yes ma'am um for for the parties would uh would you need to have 10 people to commit to doing that or could uh, like 
I don't know that like I could get like ten people to mm -hmm. commit to it because people can be a bit flaky. But I do have some friends I think would really enjoy something like that. And I I have not gone to a paint party for that reason. Is uh, that exactly. I, I can paint without because reason. yeah, <laughs> and the cheesy factor is, mm -hmm. is in high. Yes, I'm sure that we can. I would absolutely be willing to talk with you afterwards okay. about smaller number. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to give you all these. This is my uh, website business card.